Hello, my name is BC Oladipopo and welcome to my podcast. My website can be found at www.inspiredwords.org. Today, I'll be sharing on knowing the ways of God, the gift of repentance, lessons from Eli and David, part two. Eli was a priest in the temple of the Lord. According to 1 Samuel 1.17, Eli blessed Hannah and she conceived after not being able to have a child. In the process of time, Eli grew old, but his children did not serve the Lord. According to 1 Samuel 2, verses 22 to 24, his sons laid with the women that assembled at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation and made the Lord's people to sin. The Lord, lent, the Lord then sent a man of God to give Eli a message concerning this and the consequences. This can be found at 1 Samuel 2 verses 27 to 36. I will just read two verses from this because it's, they're quite long verse, it's quite a long um, verse. Verse 27, this is the man of, man of God sent from God to, a, uh, to Eli. Verse 27, And there came a man of God unto Eli and said unto him, Thus saith the Lord, did I plainly appear unto, thy house, unto the house of thy father when they were in Egypt in Pharaoh's house? Verse 29, Wherewith kick ye at my sacrifice and at my offering, which I have commanded in my habitation, and honorest thy, honorest thy sons above me, to make yourselves fat with the chiefest of all the offerings of Israel, my people. Verse 30, Wherefore the Lord of God of Israel saith, I said indeed that thy house and the house of thy father should walk before me forever, but now the Lord saith, Be it far from me, for them that honour me will I honour, and they that despise me shall be lightly esteemed. The full consequences that awaited Eli can be found in the other verses, which were quite severe. They include his house will be cut off, there will not be an old man in his house forever, and both of his sons will die in one day. These are quite severe consequences. However, we find no response in scripture from Eli following this word that he received. The Lord then sent Eli a second message regarding this matter through Samuel. This can be found in 1 Samuel 3 verses 10 to 14. I will read a few verses from this. 1 Samuel 3 verses, verse 11 and I read, And the Lord said to Samuel, Behold, I will do a thing in Israel at which both the ears of every one that heareth it will tingle verse 11 verse sorry verse 12 in that day i will be i will perform against eli all things which i have spoken concerning his his house which i begin i will also make an end verse 13 for i have told him that i will judge his house forever for iniquity which he for the iniquity which he knoweth because his sons made themselves vile and he restraineth them not Verse 14, And therefore I have sworn unto the house of Eli, that the iniquity of Eli's house shall not be poured with sacrifice, nor offering forever. The Lord, yeah, the Lord sent Samuel, as, uh, Eli, a second message, and that was the message that he, sent, that he sent to him. If you notice verse 13, it says, For I have told him, so this was not the first time Eli heard this. So this was another warning for Eli. What was Eli's response to this? His response can be found found in verse 18. And Samuel told him everything and hid nothing from him. And he and this is Eli responding and he said, It is the Lord, let him do what seemeth him good. So in other words, Eli said, Let the do let the Lord do what he wants to do. If you remember from a previous podcast, I shared about Ahab, the wicked king, that received one message and humbled himself and received mercy. Many of us are aware of David. And what he did, he only he only had one prophet speak to him, Prophet Nathan, and he repented. Let's see let's see David's response in Second Samuel twelve verse thirteen. Second Samuel twelve verse thirteen, and I read, and David said unto Nathan, I have sinned against the Lord. And Nathan said unto David, The Lord had also put away thy sin; thou shalt not die. Subsequently, David wrote at least one psalm repenting. This can be found in Psalm 51. The Lord sent one person to David. He repented. 
the Lord sent one person to Ahab, the wicked king, and he humbled himself. Why would the Lord send two people to Eli? Could it be that the Lord was looking for a response? Once again, as stated in part one of this series, I am in no way encouraging sin. I'm just trying to make a point. David still paid for his sins, but he got mercy. Otherwise, he would have died, as we could see clearly in 2 Samuel 12, verse 13. Romans 9, verse 15 reads, For he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. However, can we place ourselves in obtaining mercy? By humbling ourselves, repenting and receiving correction. As we can see, those that position themselves for mercy re received mercy. Psalm 36 verse 5 says, Thy mercy, O Lord, is in the heavens, and thy faithfulness reaches unto the clouds. So my short exhortation today is this. We need to stay humble, teachable, easy to ask for forgiveness when we, were, when we are wrong, so we can obtain his mercy which we all need. Thanks for listening.